Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with an upside down barbecue meatloaf. Just something I thought I would try, and you know what? It was really good, even though it looked horrible and I thought it was going to be bad. It actually came out pretty nice. So this is a real lazy man's meatloaf, just something you whip up. You don't want to chop, you don't want to dice. I had a pound and three quarters of ground beef. It was actually supposed to be two pounds, but I made a hamburger for lunch. So a pound and three quarters of beef, salt and pepper, a little cayenne, a little celery salt, some chipotle, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. So that's my spice blend. And you'll notice complete lack of anything chopped, diced, and or fresh. But that's okay. This is a quick weeknight meal. Now, one secret here. I'm going to mix in the spices with my fingertips. The meat is extremely cold, ice cold. Overmixing with meatloaf and meatballs and that kind of thing is not so much from the overmixing, from the, you know, the movement. It's because the meat warms up and gets all smushy and mushy and mashed together. So you want to work with really, really cold, cold beef. Okay, so my dry spices are mixed in. Now for the wet stuff. I have some ketchup, I have an egg, beaten, some Worcestershire sauce, some Dijon mustard, and then finally, the breadcrumbs. So we're gonna mix this one last time with our fingertips. Again, the meat is still very cold. That way it'll mix together. You don't have to worry about it getting really super tough. Not that you wanna overmix it. See, so yeah, just as soon as it comes together, you're done. Okay, I'm gonna form that into a loaf shape because this is going to be a true meatloaf. I'm gonna cook it in a loaf pan. So what I meant by upside down barbecue meatloaf, I'm gonna put about a quarter cup, third of a cup of my amazing SFQ San Francisco style barbecue sauce that will soon be available. But until then, use your favorite barbecue sauce. Put that in the bottom of your loaf pan, put in your meatloaf and press it down in. So what I was hoping to have happen here is the meat kind of braise in that barbecue sauce and I would turn it upside down and it would just be beautiful and amazing. All right, so I put that into the oven 325 for an hour and 15 minutes or until an internal temperature of 155. I'm going to drain the fat out of there and then I'm going to flip it over onto a plate. So what I was hoping to have happen here is the meat, instead of the glaze being on top like it's normally done, it would be underneath and the loaf would be kind of braising in that, that barbecue sauce and I would unmold it, flip it over and it would have this beautiful glossy perfect finish and that's what it looked like. It looked horrible. I mean, who would eat that? But that's okay. That's home cooking. It doesn't matter what it looks like. As soon as I let it sit for a minute and I sliced it, it was good. Was it fabulous? Was it fantastic? No, because I didn't take the time to dice onions and celery and carrots and, you know, fresh herbs and things like that. But it only took me a minute to whip together and it was not a dumb idea. I tried something different. And you know what? I'm glad I did. By the way, save your emails and comments about the ring on my finger. My hands were clean. I just forgot to take it off. But that's a good point. I like that you're keeping an eye on me. Anyway, go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy.